Thanks for staying with us. We still have the Honorable Minister of Power, Mr. Adelabo, here in the midst of women, Council of Women, <laughs> still answering to Nigerian women. Amaka, go ahead, please. Okay, so, um, Honorable Minister, in fairness to you, on one part to uh, understand that energy sense is common sense, right? Yes. And I was brought up to um, turn off a, a room or power source. Well, when I leave a room, I should turn that off if it's not in use, but not refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And now you've explained to us that it was a joke, yes. right? Not, not intended the way, you know. So, and then I'm also happy you, you mentioned the Electricity Act. So let me come down to that. For example, Section 116 of the Act mm -hmm. provides that as in, was, it was, was there in the first, first place to prevent abuse of of a market power. Do you think your office has adhered strictly to the provisions oh, of sir. Section 116 of the Act in terms of um, notifications? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Mm. We did this, and I can confirm to you authoritatively. Mm. Let me tell you, the, D, the EA Act, that's the Act of 2023, signed in June 2023 by our principal president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, mm. is quite comprehensive and elaborate, and it has corrected all the errors of the past or previous legislations. Number one, it allows the National Electricity Regulatory Commission mm -hmm. to undertake tariff review, mm -hmm. minor review every six months. Because tariff building block is made up of a lot of variable parameters. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are FX mm -hmm. based, mm -hmm. a lot of them are inflation based. Mm -hmm. So as prices of equipment, appliances are running the Power operators are going up, mm. supposed to reflect in the tariff. Mm. Over six months, maybe minor review because of the shortness of the period. But after every two years, they are allowed to make major review to the tariff. The last review was done in 2022. Since 2022, we have seen escalation in price of goods and services, exchange rates, the transformers, the power cables, the power lines, and all that. Even the transmission towers. We are saying, okay. We have to do this review. And we have been contemplating this months back. What the section required us to do was to make wide consultation mm -hmm. and notification to the people that would bear this tariff. I can tell you, NAC, they started these consultations long ago. Mm. You can confirm from the discourse, even from the electricity consumers at various locations. They did regional consultations, workshops, and seminars to sensitize people about the effect of liquidity squeeze in the sector and why tariff must be reviewed. They did that. Now, when I resumed, if you have been following my programs, I've always been hammering on the fact that the major issue, which other past administrations have shied away from discussing mm. in this industry, there are two. Liquidity squeeze, mm. lack of liquidity, necessary for continuity and sustainability, then infrastructural deficit, which you must fix. And I said, the only way out of this is for us to review the tariff. I've been saying it. And I consulted almost all the stakeholders in the sector, the Jenkos, the transmission company, the discos, uh, the co some customers, some consumers. And this culminated into a retreat that we had in December, December 14 to 16 at Transcorp Hilton, where we called ourselves to a three-day retreat to discuss all this. And the major issue discussed was about the tariff review. So we did the wide consultation required. So we will not do, do, we will not do anything that is outside of the law, that is illegal. Yeah. President Bola Metin will not even allow us to do that. All right. So I can say that we complied with the section that you raised. Let me Thank ask you. us, go back a bit to the issue of subsidy, because our, 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 I looked at a report that um, my human rights lawyer, Mr. Femi Falano, said back in 2022, that the Buhari administration has stopped paying subsidy mm -hmm. in power. Yes. And this is part of the thing that leads to people's l lack of belief in the system. One second, you've stopped paying subsidy. The next second, you're saying that we are owing Jenkos and mm -hmm. transfer. You're wondering what is going on. There's, there's a lack of transparency. Mm -hmm. So help us clarify. Because you're saying that there's money still being owed. He's saying that government stopped paying subsidy back in 2022. Two things which I will clarify. Payment of subsidy is different from removal of subsidy. Sincerely, mm. government has not been paying subsidy. I'm confirming that to you. If they had been paying subsidy, we would not have the historical debt that we have in the industry. It does not mean that they removed subsidy. If the last review of tariff, let's even say that, okay, as of 2022, it was close to cost-reflective tariff, mm. where it was 69 for band A, about 54 for band B, down to 40-something for band E. 
let's say it was close to you. But between that 2022 and 2024, like I said earlier, we have seen movement in prices. We have seen exchange rate escalations. You understand? So which means, and we have not reviewed the tariff, which means that the cost of producing or generating and transmitting and distributing power has ballooned. The customers have not been made to pay. So the subsidy was there, but it was not being paid, which is why I said governments find it difficult to fund or to pay subsidy. In 2022, subsidy was 260 million. You understand? Mm. In 2023, subsidy was 720, I mean, I mean billion, 220, 260 billion, 2022. 2023, it was 720 billion, out of which only 400 was funded. There was a 320 billion that was brought forward because things were increasing then. In 2023, if we must retain the tariff at the current level, mm. government requires 2.9 trillion as subsidy. We are saying this is too much. Let us see how we can actually bring it down. And I mean, my gratitude to the president is to this grant. He said, Bio, we cannot remove subsidy 100%. I was voted in to remove the sufferings of Nigeria, to alleviate their predicaments. I should not be adding to this. We've done enough in the two of harmonizing exchange rates and the other one of removing subsidy okay. from well. So whatever we can do to meet them, middle ground, for those that can afford it, mm. you understand? Let us do it. I said, I'm not, I'm not approving. Yeah. Because you see our pockets. A is feeling like. You see our pockets and you know we can afford exactly. it. We are not punishing. We to punish you. Check from that account. I said, at, at the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, they are better off. If, let me tell you, what this. Because they are getting the power supply. I get they are getting it. it. If they are getting it, okay. they are better off. Okay. You we understand? We do have a bigger problem. You know, we've discussed the challenge because um, obviously we've discussed the challenge of the, the subsidy. Now Nigerians know that government has been subsidizing power, so, uh, power, power for them for many years. Yes. And it, has, it wasn't paid under the last administration, which is why there's a pile up. Yes. We get that. We also understand the fact that the, what we are paying now, what you are asking Band A to pay, is it cost reflective? It is. It is cost reflective. So we're we not subsidizing Band A for okay. now. Okay. And again, the building blocks contain a lot of variable parameters. Mm. The exchange rate is there. Yeah. Now that we have seen mm. downward okay. trending, Would that affect it will that affect it. It, it will affect right. it. Now, That's for it. generating, yes. the entire generation of Nigeria, mm. pata pata bring together, is not enough to solve the problem of Lagos State's need. We know. And it seems like we are not even talking ah. enough about the hey. need to increase mm -hmm. generation. Yeah. Uh, can you please? Even what's being generated, yes. we're not even consuming not it. Though. No, because there are even, there's even stories because, that we cannot yes. transmit. No, we so transmit. They say we don't have capacity for transmission, sir. We've read it Thank in the you. papers yeah. that our transmission is many years old yeah, and the equipments old. are old. Yeah. And I, I, I would blame Nigerians for when Nigerians, it's just as I would blame governments for it because they say even when Nigerians, the government puts in new equipment, yeah, Nigerians will go there and go and, and steal, go and steal the the new job. equipment. So you don't need to go there. We've already, we've yabbed ourselves. We've yabbed our so, people. We have called ourselves yeah, okay. out. We but you, we are calling out, out the government on generation and transmission. No, how no. are you holding generator, Genco's account, um, accountable to increase their capacity? And how are we ensuring that transmission is able to carry what we say they should transmit yes. to? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like I told you, I told you, I'm an accountant. So when it comes to businesses, I know a lot of things that are supposed to be in place for that business to be able to run seamlessly mm. you understand the generation that we have today we have majorly two forms the hydro power electric mm -hmm. generation where we have That's kanji we have jeba we have shiroro we have gurara kashimbila dadinkoa mm. and the uh, uh, um, the other one that we are just about to, that's zungeru mm -hmm. we just completed mm. it's supplying about 25 percent of our total mm. power installed the gas powered plants that they call Tama plants. Mm. The egg beans of this yeah. world, Olon Shogu, Omotosho, Iwobo, Afam, Ugeli, Giregu, and others, mm. is about 75% mm. of our generation. Okay. You understand? Hydro requires water, which is it's cheaper. It's which cheaper. is available. Yeah. You understand? Even during the dry season, mm. the water level goes down, down. nature comes down, mm. but that's for a short period. Mm. The Tama plant, they require gas. Mm. 
as food stock, more like the raw materials for them to produce, mm -hmm. this gas is also not cheap. Mm -hmm. You understand? Which is why when governments mm -hmm. are not paying them, it's been difficult for them to, to pay the gas suppliers. Mm, yeah. And the gas pipeline infrastructure too is also defective. Mm, you see vandalized. pipeline vandalization, the pressure not being enough, no compressor, no booster here and there. The installed capacity totally in Nigeria today for the national grid, mm. because we have other embedded plants that are within a state or within and some captive within a particular company. Mm. For the national grid, total install capacity today, hydro plus gas, is over 13,000 megawatts. Mm. But the highest we have ever generated was 5,800 megawatts, specifically in March 2021. And the national grid was able to wheel 5,800 mm. to our people, yes. Okay. But the issue is demand. Yeah. In as much as our power requirement is huge, we generate a lot of power in Nigeria, over 50,000 megawatts. A lot of them are generated in houses and companies mm. using generator fuel and diesel. Mm. But the national grid, when the discos get this power and they supply it to all the feeders, there are some feeders that distribute to households to be able to collect their money. Mm. But a lot of the feeders, you understand, to the lower band customers, when they distribute, they won't be able to collect the money. And there's also a lot of power theft. So this is because started rejecting power. Yeah, we read that. To those feeders, you understand? So the demand became so low. So that even generating companies cannot even produce based on their capacity mm. from, because of lack, lack of stimulation of demand. That's what we are trying to do now, to stimulate demand first, then ramp up generation. That's number one. Number two is inadequacy of gas supply not only in quantity, but also in quality because of the vandalized pipelines, the lack of compressors, lack of boosters. Before power gets from the Niger Delta, before it gets to a motor shop power plant in, the, in uh, Ore, the quality is poor and the pressure is low. Before talking about getting to a launch of power plant in Pakpalanto, in fact, no, no, no quality. Which is why you see a lot of these generating plants. Eh? They will have six turbines. For example, a lot of I've visited all these locations. Because if I start telling you what and what we have done, well, in, well like, since I got to the office, we will not leave this place today. But to Nigerians, sorry, just one minute. Okay. To Nigerians, once they cannot stand up and switch on the light and the light comes you have, on, not, done you have not done anything. No, 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 no. Which is why distribution is very important to us. Whatever we're doing in generation or in uh, um, transmission, if it's not translating into distribution, mm -hmm. we have not done. So we are doing so much. And these are the underground issues that we need to resolve. So those are the issues with the generating companies. And the target that we have today is, once we have seen the demand coming back up, mm. I promise Nigerians that within the next six months, we are going to the ramp generation. up our generation to minimum of 6,000 to start with. Okay. And okay. every six months, we'll be ramping it up. Okay, and our transmission grid yeah. has the capacity. Mm. If it could wheel 5,800 as far as March 2021, three years ago, with all the investment mm. in enhancement and upgrade on infrastructure in transmission, it will wheel over 6,000. And TCN management is telling mm. me that they are sure of 8,100 capacity mm. for this. And there are also projects we are doing to make sure that we upgrade the capacity of the transmission infrastructure. Okay, me, I am bothered because I know yes. I'm going to be on the band A. You are, yeah. obviously. So, <laughs> so the band A, <laughs> so how are you ensuring that most of the meters are not going to be bypassed? Yeah. Yes. To make sure that oh, I get what, the, what, I, what I pay for. Add, the reason why I'm asking this question is this, is because, okay, for example, some people who stay in rented apartments mm. in those band A, whatever, these meters that I give you, is it, our, is, it for, is it our personal meters? Is it for us? So that, such that when we are moving to another house, are we going <laughs> to move with our meter? Because if I move to another house and maybe that person bypassed his meter, so I'll mean, go there now and so let, me, let me attach, let me attach my question to her question. Yes. Yes. Because my question is similar to hers yeah. in the sense that, so there are people who are having um, power theft. There are people who are, who are bypassing, who are stealing power. Who are stealing power. Yes. Now those guys, I mean, it seems like when you, when you make band A pay for this 225, you're making us pay for the inefficiencies of discos to catch 
or to regulate those people who are involved in power theft. You are yeah. stealing power. That, that, you are They're not paying. Yeah. There's no money. Mm -hmm. So the reason why you're not getting money is because you're not, you're not we'll making, making sure. The ones that we can collect so from. those people who are always paying, people like Ramat mm -hmm. and Tokwe, who are always paying, you're not saying collect more money from them because they're the ones we'll that are Make up for the ones that make are for those ones. So is that fair on us? Okay, exactly. And let me, no, no, how no, you no, ensuring this will be used question, that. So, yes. answer everything at all. so how do you now, so what's the disciplinary action against the schools now for not doing their job? Because if they don't do their job, you it don't falls get back on the hours. consumers. Right. To, so to, to add a part C to that question, sorry, <laughs> yeah. because I heard you yesterday saying that even the discos yes. were not technically ready or financially ready, ready for yes. this job. Yes. They didn't have the capacity to even do the job that they are doing. So what are you also doing to ensure to make them do the, do right, the right thing, thing so that we don't have to suffer for it? Yes. Thank you very much. Mm. There are so yeah. many questions wrapped up in one. Yes. one. <laughs> but I can assure you I will take it one after the other okay. without wasting time. Okay. Number one. Let me say that the tariff fixing is based on identified as stated parameters. Okay. You cannot pay for the power theft mm. being committed by another customer. It's not possible. There is transparency of no there's transparency in the computation of tariff. Mm -hmm. And the parameters are well stated. The capital investment of the generating companies, their operations and maintenance, the adjustment for exchange rate, gas cost, inflation rate, and a lot of things. It is stated. And you cannot slot in anything. Okay. That is neck for you. So number one. Number two, the which is why I said the problem in the power sector is so much and huge mm -hmm. and it has accumulated over time. And I'm happy that you're also on top of what these issues are, which make my job easy. The power theft of bypassing of meter is prevalent in our society. Even there are some affluent individuals, when they are starting their construction, it's right from the foundation that they ask the contractors to remove some things, to remove some things and not connected to the meter. And they are also part of people that will be complaining that they are not having stable power. power. You can see yeah. that we are actually the ones that we are the architect of our own mis misfortunes. And we'll correct it. That's what we call now, which is why you will not see the discourse asking to go and buy your meter if you don't have meter. Because there must be standardization mm. and compliance to some certain technical standards. But above all, there's what we call meter data management system, MDMS. Mm. So when we are implementing this, our mass meter acquisition program, Every disco must have an MDMA so that remotely from their office, they can monitor activities on your meter. When you bypass, it will alert them. If they want to switch you down, they can switch you off from their office. Is that the reason they are asking everybody to get the new meters right Yeah, now? the smart meters. Mm, okay. The smart meters can do all this. When we are able to do all this, bypassing will not be possible. Tampering with meter will not be possible. Mm. Because there's what we call NEMSA, the Nigeria Electricity Management Service Agency, which are the chief inspector, the mm -hmm. inspector of the industry, they must certify every meter now and ensure that every meter comply with the technical standard as specified. So I'm saying that all those problems of the past, we have put them in like a, Especially a, pool if you have or a bucket, so, and we are picking them one after the other to be resolving. And you trust me. The problem of 50 years, mm -hmm. over 50 years, will not be resolved in one year. But, we've had but we must be making progress. Mm. I'm the 47th power minister in Nigeria yeah, today. We interviewed the 46th. The now. 46th. Mm. Well, they, not, they were brilliant people, mm. patriotic, smart people, ready to write their names in good, ready to make a difference. But there's a way the sector mm. has disenabled them mm. to perform the way they wanted to perform. Mm -hmm. But the president said, what happened to your predecessors will not happen to you. Just have the boldness, the courage to do the right thing. So far, you are fair on Nigerians. And that's what we are doing. And we are ready to make a difference. And I will make the difference. But we, we should trust the judgment of Mr. President. Okay. He put me there because he believes I can handle it. And I'm assuring you that I've never failed in my past uh, responsibility in the past. Uh, social I will media not fail. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let Amaka yeah. jump yeah. in. Yeah. I will yeah. make a difference. Yeah. I'm promising okay. Nigeria. You, you talked, you talked yes. about the certi uh, certification of the of, of the, the meters, meters yes. is the board. I hope it's not like the Nigerian thing where uh, people are supposed to do a job and then they just uh, they, they take their time. What is the time frame in which if you submit, you buy a meter, you submit, to, uh, you pay for a meter, what's the time frame from when you do timeline. that to when you, the timeline? So it's, it's yeah. not frustrating. So it's not frustrating yeah, because I understand you already you. know Nigeria. I understand you. Yeah. You know, 
this is new Nigeria, mm -hmm. and we are all working at it. It's my job, it's your job, it's everybody's responsibility. Exactly. When you see something, say something. Mm -hmm. You cannot guarantee people 100% mm -hmm. that they will comply with the new, the new sheriff in town. Mm -hmm. they, will, they are there to also mm -hmm. sabotage what we are doing. I told you, there are cabals, there are cartels, and there are hawks in this sector too that will not make this sector work. You understand? Because of their own selfish interest. But we are saying, no, it won't be possible. When you see such, please do not hesitate to escalate. Mm -hmm. And we will attend to it. We are putting the structures, the systems, and the institutions in place to ensure a long-term sustainability of this sector. So it won't be a flash in the pan. We are addressing the root cause of all these issues, not just addressing the symptoms. That is why it would not, you won't say it immediately. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, before one, two years, you will start singing People our, asking them our to, praise. asking to fire you because they said, ah, this guy, he's an accountant. Why uh -huh. do you make him a power minister? What yes. does he know? Mm -hmm. They're saying hashtag, the power minister must go. Uh -huh. And how somebody has said, all this English he's speaking. I have a comment here. Uh -huh. She's from Muni. She says, we don't understand all this grammar. Oh. The ministry <laughs> cannot boast of anything it has achieved so far since his administration started. How long does it take to implement all this English? Mm -hmm. I, I have so a, to the average Nigerian, yeah, it's there's, like, a, there's a lot but, going on. But, so, but, but I have comments on the That's the patience. Too. Yes. Okay, I have, I have several comments on the contrary. Adnam says, I'm convinced mm -hmm. Tokwe is doing a good job. People should pay for their bills and stop stealing power. Mm -hmm. Somebody, as in, I have several YouTube comments are convinced I'm based on okay. what you are saying that okay. you are convinced. But so I have a question. Okay. So we have both sides. Sincerely, it's yeah. not a popularity contest. <laughs> we just, we to just do want the job. power. Sincerely. Exactly. Just to do the so, job. Yes. It doesn't I, I, matter what people say. Yes. yes. The yes, end done. will justify the means, I okay. can tell you. Right. These are temporary comments. By the time we are able to see. Six months, they're holding you. You said 6,000. 6,000 megawatts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're holding. What, what month what are we in now? In April, 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 electric distribution company. You know, yes. we've read damning reports, mm. emails establishing acts of fraud you know, this through those and workers, mm -hmm. you know. So what exactly is happening with the eco distribution company and what is your office doing? Yeah. What's, the, what's your office going to do with, to meet this crime that we have seen? How are Allegation you it? Allegation. Mm. Allegation. Thank you crime. for correcting that. Mm. Allegations of crime, crime. sir. Allegation mm. backed with evidence is crime. Yes. Yes. At this point, you know, you an accused... The suspect is not deemed guilty until he's proved. Thank you very much. Let me tell you, it's all about regulation. Just like you have in banks. When you're having bought issues in a commercial bank, or any bank for that matter, the CBN is the regulator. To start with, you should not meddle in the internal operations, internal wranglings of a, pri of a private company. Not until you start seeing that this thing is going to degenerate into a level that it will affect the customers mm. that are supposed to be serving. Mm. We are on top of the issues that they are having in Eco Disco. I've spoken to the chairman several times. I've spoken to the other director several times. And I've spoken to even the MD, Tino Adesonda, several times. What I've done, let me tell you, the way, well, people need to understand the job of the minister very well, too. The minister is the last result. Mm. I provide oversight. You have for the industry. You have the operators. I don't own a generating company. Mm. I don't own a transmission company. I don't own a distribution company. So my, my job is medium to long term mm. to ensure that I expedite national development mm. through formulation of the appropriate policies and establishment of appropriate structures, systems, and institutions to provide the conducive atmosphere for the operators to run and guarantee long-term sustainability of the power sector so that we'll be able to provide stable, uh, functional, reliable, and cost-effective electricity to households, businesses, and industries. Between the operators and me as the minister, there's also the regulator mm. who directly regulate yeah. their yeah. daily yeah. operations. Okay. What I've done was to call the chairman regulator. of the mm. right. regulator. More minutes, intervene. Mm. He has held meeting with them. Mm. Okay. Let us see how far. That's Your feed marshal don't go to war with you. Yeah. Mm. If the regulators cannot resolve it, then it comes to me, okay. and I will yes, meet yes. with everybody, and we will wield 
the bills. No, we have very thing. little time, so we, we have to squeeze we as many questions to, as possible. We have to protect the consumers. Okay. Mm. Consumer protection is one of my major issues, my right. major responsibility to ensure that customers are not unduly. I need charged. to ask you about Siemens. Thank you. We're just hearing Siemens here, yes. Siemens exactly. there. They're in the country, okay. they're doing this, they have okay. the. Are they coming to collect our jobs? Are they bringing transformers? Are they taking okay. transformers? That's We're just hearing Siemens, Shab, but we don't know what are, they, what are they doing gun, 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 gun in Nigeria. Uh, what yes. is their work? Give Thank you. Thank you very much. When he's done. You know, the, the Siemens project, just give me two, three minutes to explain this. Okay. Okay. If you also listen to our last press conference, I gave some detailed explanation about Siemens. Siemens project started 2018 okay. under the Buhari's administration. Mm. And what did they say? Oh, they went to Egypt mm. and they saw what Siemens mm. did together with SWD. About 8,000 or 13,000 megawatts mm. they were able to produce, were able to transmit and distribute mm. within a period of, say, five years. Mm. And they said, ah, this is what we want. Let it be a turnkey. Give it to Siemens. Okay. Let them work on our transmission mm. and distribution segment. Mm. We have the generation, you understand, mm. to make sure that it is taken up to the level that they witnessed in Egypt. Okay. And they appointed the project champion, mm. who happened to be the chief of staff then, mm. late Abakiari of blessed memory, mm. to champion this. And they started, you understand. Mm. They agreed on a government to government agreement that the German government, through their export credit agency, will give Nigeria a $2.3 billion loan okay. to fund these projects. Right. And they will appoint their own company, which is Siemens, mm. to oversee the project. That was the idea. The process of signing, of looking at the agreement of everything, of course, it took time, 2018 to 2020. Mm. 2020, yes. there was COVID. Okay. Mm. You understand? It slowed it down. And unfortunately, it was during this COVID that the project champion died. He passed. Okay. He passed. You understand? 2021, we started transition. Mm. Elections, the new government coming. So there was no traction okay. during that period. Okay. You understand? Mm. And the project was supposed to be in phases. There's what they call the pilot phase that will serve as a proof of concept mm. to see that is this project going to solve our problem? Once we are satisfied with the pilot, we'll go to phase one, we'll go to phase two. When the government of Ashwaju, mm. Ahmed Bolatinubu, came in, he said, ah, let's look at this project. How is it going? You know, a, a project that you are not part of the initiation, mm -hmm. you need to review, you need that to review how, how, how it has fared over time before you now decide whether to move on or to okay. cut it. Mm -hmm. There has not been any financial commitment of everybody, anybody. Wow. You can easily say that we don't want or we want. But when we looked at it, mm -hmm. the German chancellor came to Abuja. He met with the president. Mm -hmm. I was there. And we discussed. Uh, ah, there is some sense in continuing with this project. So let's look at it. We also went to meet them at the African Business Summit in, in Berlin, in Germany. We sat down again with the Chancellor of Germany you know, and their own finance minister, and sorry, energy minister and the finance minister. We looked at it and we agreed that no, this is a good project. Germany was still committed, Nigeria was ready to continue. We said, okay, we now have to sign an acceleration agreement that will make sure that we kickstart the project again okay. to be able to achieve the knowledgeable objectives that they had from the beginning. Okay. And we agree, okay, that was in October, November. Let's meet in Dubai at COP28. And you see that the pres our president was there, the German, German chancellor was there, Siemens was there, and our own SPV, that's the special purpose, purpose work we created for it, FGM Power Company, was there. And the acceleration agreement was signed. Okay. And they agreed that they are going to continue. We agree that we are going to continue. Since then, what has happened? We started the pilot phase. This December till date, we are almost concluding the pilot phase. The pilot phase involves importation of 10 big power transformers okay. and importation of 10 power mobile substations okay. for us to fix in various locations across the country. Okay. But the power transformers, the 10 have arrived. Okay. We have installed and commissioned five. Okay. I was in Kogi, I was in Jeba, okay. I was in uh, Iwobo in Bini, I was in uh, Abuja, and one place in Kano to install and commission all this. Okay. And ask them, it has boosted mm. the capacity of transmission. Mm. Remaining five, they're installing them. As supporting the transmission. Transmission. Yes. So, 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 so I'm, I'm coming in the next two weeks, mm. two weeks to one month, I should be able to commission the remaining five. 
for the mobile substation, that's the very interesting part. Mm. You know what they call a substation? Mm -hmm. Those 330 kV yeah. substation, yeah. where you see all the high voltage power line, yeah. or 132 kV mm. substation. Those are transmission substations that supply power to the distribution company, mm. which is stepped down to 33 kV and 11 kV mm. to be taken to your house at 450 yeah. volts. Yeah. All those substations take mm. between three and five years mm. to establish. Mm. Yes. Well, so they, have to, they have to system. manufacture the transformer, mm. they have to fix it, they have to do the lines. Mm. But the mobile substations that we have, mm. if there is a problem in any of those permanent substations, mm. they can before now, the people may not have light for one year or two years. But now, we can drive it down from Lagos yard, you know, the Nemsa yard here, mm. and within one day, drive mm. the substation down to the place, you understand, and do the connection in we two days, time. and restore lights. No, and we have, we have 10 of that. We have installed three. We are commissioning it next week. Mm. One in Aja, one in Kano, another one mm. in, a, what they call it, Agbara, mm. the industrial cluster. Mm. We have seven left that we are going to be taking to where they have transmission issues. Mm. That is okay. the okay. impact okay. of we have very little substation. Time. Let me... We now go to phase one, okay. which is the bigger part that will address mm. both transmission and the Distribution. Okay. We change transformers, we change power lines, we change power, power poles. Let me, let, okay. let me throw in one question. Injection substation. We'll okay, let, let me throw in one question for the masses, right? Because the economy is hard and everybody... I you know, I need three hours so, for so, this so kind we, of interview. So, so that Nigeria will know who is responsible what for we're the doing. replacement of, 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 from the old meter to the smart uh, meter. Okay. And then what happens to the money that we paid for the old meter? Would there be a subsidy from discos or like what's, go what's going on? Because if people already have old meter, what's going to encourage them to move on? To the so, smart meters, and people don't have meters. And people, people don't, don't have don't meters have at all. So people have old meters, and they're not even. They're still giving them. They just feel like it's not working. You don't want them to move, yes, move sir. to smart Let meter. Me add so what's going the on? Questions. Another question. Mm. They are. I, there is someone. And Tiani sends this question that there's somebody she knows. Five weeks now, they don't have the transmitter. The transformer went bad. Mm. The company, the discos have told them that there are hotels in that place. They should contribute money to buy transformer. And the hotels are saying they don't want to carry that body yes. because they bought the previous one. Please help us address the question concerning changing meters that are already working mm -hmm. for new one when people don't have. Yeah. And who is carrying the cost? And who is carrying the cost for replacing transformers? Some are months without light okay. because of no transformer. Thank you very you much. You have just two minutes. Okay, the issue of meter, let me tell you, mm. if you have installed meters mm. recently in the last one to two years, mm. they are smart meters. Mm. The only thing they need to do is to configure it mm. to fit the meter data management system with the MDMS. Mm. So you don't need to change your meters, mm. except the old, the old archaic mm. analog meters, okay. which are no longer compliant with the smart meter mm. requirements. That's number one. And when we give out meters, mm. there'll be an arrangement that government will make sure it does not inflict hardship on the consumers mm. to ensure that it is paid over time, in a way that you don't even feel it. That's the arrangement. Mm. Then the issue of transformers, I have said it several like that. Provision of transformer is not the responsibility of the consumers. Mm. It is the duty of the discos. It's part of their distribution infrastructures, which they are collecting tariff for. Mm. The cost of transformer is, in, is built inside the tariff. You understand? Mm. And we know that there are some areas that are attracted to some discos, that they, they can abandon them. Because they are low-income area, they won't be able to get their money. Mm. As the minister, I have a budget that is also buoyant enough for mm. government intervention in these areas, in so that we will distribute thousands of transformers mm. across Nigeria. I'm promising you that. And I've said it several times. When we start implementing this budget, we'll identify those areas and ensure that government intervene by providing mm. transformers. Even there are some rural areas where we are going to provide alternative source of energy. Mm. The mini grids, the micro grids, for the smaller grid businesses, mm. for the rural schools, rural hospitals, mm. even for homes. We have solar home systems too mm. that we can actually give to these people. Mm. You understand? Mm. And even street lights for security. There are solar systems. So mm. our area is doing a lot. In fact, we also plan to bring out a number of our federal institutions, mm. universities, mm. and teaching hospitals out of the national grid mm. and give them their own mini grid. And in the next uh, one or two weeks, we are commissioning about eight universities okay. that we are giving we have two, to wrap up. four okay. megawatts of power so that they don't have to rely on national grid. The last thing I want to mention here before I leave is the subnational governments mm -hmm. must also rise up. The governors. 
the governors, the local government chairman, the EA Act has allowed all of them to play in power. You see what happened in Abia, 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 Abia State. Abia State. Yes. That's a backup power for the state. Mm -hmm. If anything happens to the national grid, they don't have mm. to suffer. Mm -hmm. Every state must have nothing less than 50 megawatts of power. And we are working on that mm. with the uh, solar uh, source of power that we are we working on. We should hold our governors uh, also responsible. responsible. They must be responsible mm. too. Even in managing the discos, because governments still own 40% of the disco. Out of this 40%, state governments own almost 25%. Why are they not getting involved? Right. Oh. They should call them to performance. Exactly. It's not every... I'm in Abuja, one person. You know, we have 36 states to manage. If you have the support of the governors to, 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 to assist oh. us, it's going to be easier for us. You understand? And the private sector, too, are being called upon that. This EA has uh, made everything possible mm -hmm. for everybody to participate in the power sector. Mm -hmm. So uh, my last appeal to Nigeria is that they should still be patient with us. Okay. They should have the trust and confidence, and with time, will make a significant difference. Thank you very in much. This That's all industry. we can take mm. on the show. Thank you so the much. The pity, sir. there's not much time. Yeah, I'll yeah, come back. No I know time. Elijah Nima wanted to be here when mm. she was first travel to the first stage. Mm -hmm. She had plenty of bullets for you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't make you it. You can still contact me after worry. the program. We'll bring, like to bring you back. Mm -hmm. yeah. So definitely three two. months. Let, okay, three yeah, months. six months. October. So let's just even start with three, three months. months. Okay, okay. I, I will come before then. 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 Come yeah. Yeah. Donald Punk can easily talk all to right. me. And, uh, <laughs> That's all we can take on Thank today's show. Much. Hope you've enjoyed the show and learned a few things as we have. Have a great weekend. We'll see you with the lady, um, your view pigeon tomorrow morning. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. Bye bye.